Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're gonna crack open the black box that powers everything from hyper-realistic gaming to the entire AI revolution, the GPU. We're gonna build a really simple but powerful mental model for how these incredible chips actually get their work done. So let's just kick things off with a pretty basic question. How is it that one little chip can be so ridiculously good at certain jobs while the main processor in your computer, the CPU, just can't seem to keep up? Well, the secret isn't just about raw power. It's a completely different philosophy of how to work. You know, you can think of it this way. A CPU is a generalist. It's like a brilliant project manager that's optimized for what we call latency. It's designed to tackle one really complex task at a time and do it incredibly fast. A GPU though, it's a specialist. It's built for throughput. Its entire goal is to handle thousands, even millions of simpler parallel tasks all at the exact same time. To really get our heads around this, let's imagine the GPU as a massive, super organized factory. This analogy is going to be our guide as we explore how work actually gets done inside the chip. Okay, so this slide right here, this lays out our entire factory analogy. And you'll notice two categories. The software concepts are like the project plan, the instructions. The hardware concepts are the actual physical parts of our factory. We're gonna walk through this whole hierarchy from the top level project all the way down to a single worker and the tools they use. So at the very, very top, we have the grid. This is a software idea that represents the entire job that needs to be done. Let's say we're rendering a frame in a video game. The grid is basically the master blueprint for calculating the color of every single pixel on your screen, the whole shebang.